In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the easiest ways that you could stop the mesh spot or the wheel routes in Madden 22. I think these are the kind of the best zones that you could possibly utilize uh, to stop wheel, route, wheel routes in this game. Wheel routes to me are one of the most difficult uh, wheel or uh, routes in the game to guard because they beat man, they beat a lot of the zones as well. Um, there's really kind of a specific adjustment that I'm gonna share with you in this video that you can use to slow it down, but it is, you know, the key word is slow it down, right? They're very, very good routes. So uh, with, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm a little bit under the weather uh, this week, so please forgive me if I'm not responding uh, as much as I normally do. But uh, anyways, we're going to dive into this video. Now, I'm going to talk about this out of the nickel normal defense. You can actually do this out of several different defenses, but I'm going to be doing this out of nickel normal. Now, the, the best nickel normal, in my opinion, is the nickel normal in the San Francisco uh, 49ers playbook. I have a full ebook on that. If you guys want to learn that defense, I'm going to put a link in the description to join the Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to every ebook that I have in Madden 22. We've got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks right now in the Patreon membership. So for just $10 a month, you're getting access to all of that. Uh, so I'd encourage you to check that out. There's a, there will be a link in the description if you want to check out the Patreon. But let's just jump in. So I want to talk about two in particular uh, route combos or uh, two in particular wheel routes within this. Uh, this is out of the gun bunch. And the play we're going to be covering um, is mesh spot. Now mesh spot, like I said, one of the most difficult plays to guard uh, in this game. If you watch the game with uh, Ice, Ice pretty much ran this the majority of the game. Uh, Wesley ran it a lot, but Ice ran this probably the best out of anybody uh, in, the, in the MCS. And then you also had Henry running some of the other similar wheel concepts, but just from other plays. But uh, anyways, what we're going to do with this is we're going to come out in the nickel normal. Now, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and flick my right joystick to the left one. You'll see that it has the free safety one inside. Now, I've been talking about this pretty much the majority of this season um, about this idea of utilizing safeties in outside thirds uh, out of a cover two kind of base shell. Uh, which is what we're going to be showing you how to do in this video, but that's not really the core uh, of what we want to talk about. This is also my favorite red zone defense in the game, by the way. Um, if you guys are struggling to get stops on the red zone, you might consider trying out this concept. Uh, I really, really like this defense and just how it aligns and also how it covers. So 3-3-5 three, three, normal, and the play we're going to be talking about today is Tampa 2. Now, the reason we want to come out in Tampa 2 is a couple reasons. The first one is that we get the vertical hook. Now the vertical hook is the most important, um, in my opinion, the most important zone in this game to understand how it works because it's the only zone in the game, in my opinion, that's gonna give you a real shot at stopping the wheel routes and some of like the little, you know, kind of zigs and hitches and uh, slants and posts, stuff like that. So um, how we're gonna set this up um, is relatively simple. What we're gonna do here is we are just going to shift our linebackers to the right. So you see this is going to give us kind of a, if you will, a 4-3 even type of front, right? Kind of similar. And then all we're going to do is we're going to shade our coverage down. What that's going to do is it's going to kind of tell those vertical hooks to stay down on, on those wheels. And then we're going to put man, re-manually put our outside corners into clouds. And then we're going to put our safeties in outside third. So you see how we can see how the zone adjustments. I did a video on this the other day as well. The uh, zone adjustments allow us now to put our safeties in outside third. So the left safeties in an outside third to the left. The right safeties in an outside third to the right. That's going to make it so that you don't get hit with like a, a verticals, right? The verticals play. Now, really, really important, your user is responsible if they run a post route. Okay, if they run a pro start. So what you can do, um, if you want to kind of help it a little bit, is just man up that solo receiver in the bunch. Okay, so how this is going to work, I'm going to first show you on the left side. So this is kind of the patented way people like to run it. And then, you know, they're going to run it like this. Okay, and you're going to be obviously in the, in the middle of the field. If you see a seam, you're basically kind of playing in relationship with the slot receiver. Uh, with the defensive lineman, I do like to go ahead and blitz my user, uh, put the defensive lineman on the left side of the screen in a bluff blitz, and the defensive lineman on the right side of the screen into a, um, a uh, three rec hook. Okay, so at the snap of the ball, we're just going to take this streak up the seam, but you'll see here this running back route really is not as open as it typically, uh, as it typically is, right? I mean, I was able to hit it right there, but I'll show you again. So again, just kind of go through 
you know, all this stuff here and shade your coverage down and then you have kind of something like this okay now I want to show you the running back right one more time again the really important thing is that you shade down you have to shade down otherwise it won't it won't work so we have the streak now just to illustrate I'm gonna man my guy up on the streak because that's where my user is gonna go and I just want you to kind of watch this running back route and you'll see here if I low ball that um, I can kind of hit it, but what I will say is that that vertical hook uh, defender typically will actually kind of, you know, bait it a little bit. He'll jump it, especially if you have acrobat. He'll kind of be in a little bit better of a position than he is at this point. Um, another thing that we can do is if you want it to be a little bit safer, you could go ahead and take this guy right here and throw him into a middle third. So you're going to create kind of a cover three, basically. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drop, instead of dropping a spy on this play, we're going to drop the defensive tackle on the left side of the screen in a vertical hook, just right there. And then we're going to go ahead and shade down and then kind of create our, our coverage. Now I want to show you how this works against this seam wheel. And what you, what you should see here is with that third and the vertical hook, they kind of flow into the same general area. And you see that we forced a, a little bit of an incompletion there. Now the cool part about this is, you know, obviously the the running back wheel is much much more effective than the other side. And I'll show you the other side for just a second. You can all open to that side if you want to, especially if you put that, um, if you, especially if you put this guy in the middle third. So let's say you did something like this. You got the vertical hook from the defensive end. You've got this guy in the middle third, and then you know you're gonna say, well, I'm gonna open up to the running back side. You know that's something that you certainly can do. So I want to show you the running back wheel one more time, and then we'll talk about the left side. And I'm going, to, I'm going to give you two more things on the running back wheel. So notice here, vertical hook. Now the beauty of the seam wheel is just the width that it, it gets, as you can see right there. Okay. So now, what if we really wanted to bag, bag down on it? Well, what we can do is we can take this guy, Vinoy, and bluff blitz him. And then on this back side here, what we're going to do is, I mean, you can spy whoever you want. I mean, just pick somebody, whoever you want to spy, you certainly can. And then you've got your middle, um, you know, you're setting up your coverage. So it looks kind of like this right here. And now what you'll notice is that this defensive end should man up on the running back. Just like that, he has inside leverage. And you see right there, I mean, that's why the wheel route is so tough. But if you click onto that guy, you're going to be able to make a play on the ball. So that's going to kind of eliminate that route. Especially, again, I want to kind of emphasize, you're going to open up probably here, Okay. You're going to open up probably here just with the way the route combo works, especially if you have, um, you know, a middle third on the field. Okay. Now, uh, the other side is significantly easier, at least to shut down the wheel route um, than, than, the, than the running back side. So, you know, you can do something like this if you want. Okay. Um, now, on this back side here, what you're going to notice is this shaded down vertical hook from the slot. He's going to guard it. CI takes it. I mean, it's going to be a complete bag. So you really don't have to worry too much about that side. You're really more concerned with the right side. The one thing you have to be a little careful of with this, <coughs> excuse me, um, the one thing you have to be a little careful of with this, especially to that side, um, this is becoming very popular, and uh, several YouTubers have already talked about this concept. But basically what we're going to do is we're just going to flip the formation we're going to put him on a streak and what you're going to see is now he's going to be on what looks like a kind of an inverted streak at the seam. That's what you've got to be a little bit careful of to watch out for. If they do something like that, you need to be in a position where you can go kind of help with that a little bit. But again, your, your, your wheel is not going to be open here, but this little seam streak right here is actually pretty good. As you can see, I could throw that in that little area and it can be a very pain, a, a big time pain. So that's just something important to understand uh, within this. Obviously, again, you're wanting initially to open to this sideline. Um, if you wanted to, you could take Bethel, put him in the middle third. That'll help a little bit with that with that seam, as well as a three wreck on that side. Um, I wouldn't, or a QB spy, for example. So you do something like this. 
Um, this is pretty good defense for this, okay? And then you've got your clouds. If you want to turn them into hard flats, you certainly could. With this particular concept, it will be better for the concept if they're in hard flats. But now that you have a middle third over there, something like this right here, you can open here and kind of help. They're not going to throw at your user. And, I mean, there's really nothing there. That's where you got to be a little careful. You saw that little little concept that right there. They wait on it a little bit. But uh, by and large, you're going to at least kind of mess the timing up on this. You're going to force them to have to, I mean, you know, you might bait them into a pick. Uh, and then, like I said, it's really important to put those safeties in those outside thirds. I think that significantly helps your chances at being able to cover some of these wheels. Uh, and then again, you've got this guy right here, so you can kind of poach here and then kind of peel back. And then notice that the third and the vert hook together will carry that vertical hook and you'll be able to slow that down. So just wanted to break that concept down for you. That's something that I really like at a nickel normal. You could do this out of uh, wide as well. Um, you just come out in a free safety package. The thing with wide, um, the thing with wide that I want to quickly point out to you, ah, crap, I messed up. The thing with wide I want to quickly point out to you is that wide uh, allows the ability for us to cross man a little bit better. And I actually think that cross manning wheel routes is honestly one of the better ways to slow them down. So let's say you come out in. Um, Let's say you come out in three through five and you audible down into cover two. What you can do is you can actually take, for example, like you can take this guy and man him up on the running back. And I just want to show it, you know, again, obviously with the vertical hook there and a, a shade. But what you'll see now is if I lowball that, that's a pretty good chance it's a pick. So uh, that's another way that you could kind of slow these down. Obviously, you know, when you start to do stuff like that, it does open other things up, okay? But you still have two vertical hooks. What I like about wide so much, it's just really good coverage. I, I, it's the best way to create different coverages in the game. You know, you could do your safety thing, and then if you wanted to, you know, you could go ahead and cross man that running back. You've got a shaded down vert hook, and then in the middle of the field, you're going to go with a bluff blitz. So you do something like this. This is pretty good coverage for this concept. And then you have kind of you you would obviously adjust out of it, and then you would need to have the safety package. But by and large, this is this is about as good as you're going to be able to do. You know, now you're able to really not have to worry too much about this running back route because you got that cross man, and then you've got the zones available to you on the back side. Obviously, you want to put those outside thirds, and then make sure that you're watching the middle of the field. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry that my voice is going a little bit. I did want to get a video out to you guys today. Again, uh, appreciate your support. I'm a little bit sick right now. Uh, but if you guys want to check out more about some of these concepts, really dive into this, I'd really encourage you to get the Patreon. You get everything for 10 bucks, literally everything, all 14 eBooks, all exclusive tips. We posted a brand new defense. Uh, in there last night talking about two by two compression and kind of helping some of the people that are struggling with compression whether it be a bunch or tight slots or stuff like that i think tight slots is actually becoming really really popular right now so if you want to check out all of that stuff again ten dollars gets you everything so if you're still watching you want to check it out head on down to the description of the video and click the link that i put down there and you can go check it out right now